Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. I know that you have been waiting for a long time for this moment. Finally, we want to present you a laser engraver that engraves on stainless steel, copper and aluminum without any paste and does it really, really fast. So this is a fiber model, uh, DSPP. 10 watt power, but in peak mode it generates up to 20, actually 30 kilowatts. Okay, we're going to engrave Star Wars, but it's, let's start the engraving process. We use uh, Cura software, uh, G code's been already prepared, and let's see what we get here. So it's a little bit, it seems like it's not focused, but in fact it is. Um, we just test uh, the speed 255. So this model consists actually out of two parts. One is a uh, uh, pump a model that is here, that's pumped uh, diodes, and they are pumping uh, the active active component. So we're going to tell a little bit more about this unit in detail a little bit later. But uh, you can easily hook it up to your 3D printer. So this is uh, our one how duplicator, and uh, you can see it's here. And we use uh, power supply, 12 volts, uh, 30 amps. It's already here, and not much else that uh, you can do. Uh, that uh, you actually need, so you can see, and that's engraving uh, quite accurately, so you see two lines, okay, and we'll engrave another, another uh, part. So before that we engrave it using our double beam laser with a special engraving paste, or you need paste like uh, Cermark, or dry uh, molly spray, but uh, here you don't need anything. So, uh, wavelengths. This laser works uh, using wavelengths 1064 nanometers. So what's good about this wavelength? So it's near infrared. Another good thing that um, it's, uh, I mean, you do not have to, to be very, very careful. I mean, it's, it's not that uh, uncomfortable to operate because uh, you do not see this uh, very strong reflection. So this is this is a good thing, and also uh, the absorption level, absorption coefficient for these uh, materials like uh, steel is good for this wavelength. So you can see you can see the result, right? It's nice. You cannot, you cannot clean it up, so it's, it's pretty good. Okay, let's try on copper, and then we will do all the same on aluminum. Yes, okay. so this is copper. Okay. The same, starting the same. So uh, some information about uh, about data sheet. So repetition level for this one is 31.55. Uh, kilohertz. The pulse duration is only 9.1 nanoseconds. So nanosecond is 10 uh, minus uh, um, in minus 9 square. The average power for this unit is 10.62 watts. Uh, we tested it, and uh, transverse mode is uh, 10 double zero. Also, we have beam uh, diameter um, at, at the aperture is uh, something like 7 millimeters and beam diameter is 57 microns so it's it's much much smaller than in our uh, blue diode uh, laser model um, another thing that I want to tell you that the weight of this um, device is about uh, 2 pounds a little bit less than 2 pounds and this uh, device uh, weight is actually closer to 8 pounds. 
so total dimensions uh, you can see you can uh, put it near your 3D printer and these are put on top so you get it as a laser laser head okay let's see what we get here so probably we need a little bit different parameters you can see, you can see that you can graves uh, but uh, you probably need it smaller smaller speed because now uh, it's quite fast so probably we, we need to to find out and check uh, that the speed should be uh, should be smaller but this is uh, slower but I think it's pretty good because now you can easily engrave on jewelry you can engrave uh, on your components for example for your business you can engrave almost on any any metallic surfaces we actually have plans to engrave on titanium I've been told that uh, while engraving with different speed you can uh, get different colors so this is uh, this is really good uh, opportunity for makers and uh, okay let's let's show us yeah probably we needed to uh, to make it faster oh uh, uh, sorry it's, it's slower okay you can uh, okay now you can see it from here Star Wars yes that's that's a good angle to see okay and let's try uh, this small aluminum plate. the same Star Wars experiment um, yeah another good thing that uh, we are open a for sale uh, campaign for this uh, for this unit so if you want to learn more about uh, about how to get it how to install just let me know uh, our plan, uh, the estimated uh, price, retail price, would be closer to uh, $4,000. So the laser model is quite expensive, and we also will provide full support and uh, full uh, maintenance. So uh, we will still have endurance, uh, endurance uh, all support. Uh, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, now while for sale and while we are uh, just getting you know, feedbacks from our customers and potential customers, if you want to learn more and if you want to place an order, please let me know. We're happy, uh, we're happy with that. Uh, we, we will be offering you the best price. The lead time while we do it in, uh, in this mode, like pre-order, would be probably closer to a few weeks maybe uh, six or maybe four or six weeks because we still are waiting for some components but uh, like I said the final retail price would be closer to four thousand dollars for 10 watt unit so this is a 10 watt unit that is in CV power in impulsive mode it's closer to 20 30 uh, kilowatts you can actually make your own calculations and to get the final, uh, we have also a data sheet here that are tests. Okay, what we have here, I already to told you about uh, these parameters. So what we got on aluminum? Yeah, you can you can see Star Wars. Uh, probably we need to do some more experiments with. Uh, is focusing but like I said the uh, size of a beam is very very small it's 0 0.05 millimeters like 50, 57 microns it's really really tiny and like I said we plan to engrave on different surfaces like titanium maybe try more steel and different types of steel to show how it works and uh, yes show us the result okay. Right angle. Well, okay, now you can see Star Wars on plain aluminum. So, I uh, hope you guys you like this video. Please share it with your friends. I'm pretty positive that Endurance is the first company who presented uh, an installation of a fiber laser on a 3D printer. You can actually install it on any 3D, uh, 3D printer or CNC machine. Uh, it has TTL. 
uh, so you can change uh, laser power and it's uh, ready to go. We, uh, shortly we'll present you some uh, laser mounts and laser brackets so to make it very very um, easy to mount and uh, to connect to your 3D printer. Uh, yes, please share it with your friends. If you have questions, please email me gf at endurancerobots.com or text me plus 7916-225-4302. Enjoy new dimension of laser engraving using infrared 1064 nanometer fiber laser. Bye-bye.